Friends, good morning and peace be with you. It is an honor to follow Mayor Walsh and John Luke and high school students. I am deeply honored and humbled to be part of this Earth Day rally and to get a chance to stand in solidarity with such inspiring and prophetic voices. My name is Reverend Rob Mark and I have the profound joy of serving as lead pastor at Church of the Covenant, a progressive Christian community located in Boston's Back Bay here on Turtle Island. I also serve as a coordinator for the National Eco Stewards Program. The 150 year old National Historic Landmark gift of a Roxbury Pudding Stone Sanctuary, my congregation's stewards, stands not far from the shores of the Quinobican or settler named Charles River. Our church building is made more sacred and holy by the hundreds of women, primarily experiencing homelessness, who daily find sanctuary, nourishment, and dignity by the prophetic work of Women's Lunch Place, who work even now in the midst of this pandemic. However, our sanctuary lies in the blue zone for risk for future flooding, according to Climate Ready Boston Maps. It's also encircled by too many underground fracked gas pipelines that are actively leaking, spewing dangerous methane into what should be safe and sacred space. Our faith and justice community sits in that all too common intersection where degradation of the earth threatens the most vulnerable, the most beloved. As part of our response to this and other global climate injustices and in solidarity with movements that have sprung from Standing Rock, Flink, Flint, Weymouth, and elsewhere, our congregation has committed itself to the way of Climate Jubilee, an organizing platform and spirituality that helps us join the wider movement for liberation here in beloved Boston and beyond. On this 50th celebrating of Earth Day, in light of this uh, novel coronavirus, we find ourselves in a novel place of deep disruption, separation, pain, and loss, many of us have never experienced before. But for many, as we know, especially communities of color and indigenous communities, the experiences of disruption, separation, pain, and loss are not novel. And this virus is only exacerbating the profound injustices far too many experience on a daily basis due to the systemic sins of racism, poverty, misogyny, and suppression. The cry of the earth is amplified in light of these ongoing cries, and the increased suffering of this virus is waking our city more profoundly to the work that we are all called to do together, the work of compassion, solidarity, and jubilee. Like many, as a person of faith, I see the image of God in others. As someone who takes deep inspiration from ancient Celtic traditions, I also see God in the face of the earth. The crises before us, the viruses and the climate chaos call us to see the face of that which is sacred around all of us. Our sacred earth is hurting. Even pandemics can't hold back the fossil fuel floods, fires, droughts, and displacement that are still coming. But at the same time, our sacred earth is healing. Any hope of a vaccine will come from the elements of the earth. And who among us during these days of distancing and sheltering in place has not taken great solace in a sunset, songbirds call, a blue sky, a tree leafing out, or perhaps the balm of a spring snowstorm. The root word embedded in pandemic comes from the Greek pan, which of course means all. We're all certainly in this together. These crises affect all of us tied together in a single garment of destiny. And so too, we are all needed to find the way forward. We are all essential. As reflections of God working together, there will be hope. The voices and stories before us in this virtual yet real rally today certainly will inspire inspire hope. So let's listen deeply, let's be changed and become part of the change our earth so deeply needs right now. For here we all sit on this beloved green and blue circled speck in the vast dust of the expanding cosmos here together on this one earth, our shared island home. May we all rise together to celebrate and to liberate. And may the spirit of all that is life, all that is good, all that is love, all that is earth, bless and keep you and all you steward in these days. Deep peace 
of the running wave to you, deep peace of the quiet earth to you, deep peace of divine peace to you. Happy Earth Day blessings.